time is going to seem faster. Or your experience of all those objects is going to seem faster than if you were focused on one of them. Time is going to seem faster if you're focusing on okay, ten let's objects say, instead of one. Let's say you one. have ten moving objects that are connected, and you focus because our perception is holistic. And you, when you're focused on all ten of them, you know, kind of like when you're zoomed out, it's going to seem like time is going by faster. But when you focus in on two of them, or even one of them, you know, the less of the objects you're focusing on is going to make the time go by slower. Because that makes sense. Yeah. And it's because your relative comparison, your frame of reference is growing and expanding depending on how narrow or how expansive your focus is. So if you're watching somebody punch you in the face, it's going to be relatively in slow motion compared to watching somebody else punch somebody else in the face. Or if I'm punching someone in the face very slow. Yeah, well you're still focused on a, a more narrow... And very accurate. Used like the sex voice. <laughs> well, like a Russian spy sex voice. It is very accurate. Yeah, but it's because you're like focused on a more narrow range of. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Like time and motion is undeniably connected. Well, yeah. And. Depending on what moving objects you're focused on is going to create your frame of reference for the passage of time. Because our bodies are moving, like our heartbeat, our flow of blood, and our neuro our neurotransmitters are firing at measurable speeds of time. So in comparison to other moving objects, a frame of reference is formed, and depending on how fast another object is moving, it's going to influence the perception of time. Because time is not perceived as something reduced to the person who is experiencing it. Time is something that we experience of the world, or of external reality, and not of our own mental imagery, unless you do sensory deprivation. And then time is, then your focus is, focus is reduced to how the tempo of your thinking, you know, the tempo of your thoughts. So if you're really nervous, time is going to pass slowly. slowly. And if you're really relaxed, it's going to pass faster. Depending on if you have the sensory deprivation or the focus to be more consumed by your own tempo of thinking than the tempo of some other external externality. I'm playing less notes though. Time goes by more slowly. And if I play more notes, it seems to go faster. That's not true. Because a really short, fast song seems like it's a lot longer than it really is. A band that writes like a 45 second song that's like 
really fucking hardcore. Their songs seem like they're two minutes long, but they're not. But a band that writes a really slow two minute song, that's also going to seem like it's forever. That's just because it's boring. And your mind focuses on other things. It sets up a different frame of reference for other objects. A long song is going to go by faster than a short song? No. A fast, short song is going to seem slower than a long, slow song. I beg to differ. Wait, what did I just say? A long, slow song is going to go faster? No, a short, slower. fast song is going to seem slower. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Well, proportionally, if you play 45 seconds of a really fast 45 second song, and you play 45 seconds of a really slow two minute song, the 45 second song is going to seem like it went by quicker than the 45 seconds of the slow two minute song. That's kind of what I was trying to say. Wait, say it again. If you played 45 seconds of the long, slow song, and 45 seconds of the fast song, the fast song would seem like it went by fast. fast because you're less focused, there's more notes, like you're zoomed out, like you said. Right. So that's what I meant when I said, when I'm playing more notes and a chord, it seems like the time would go by faster. But if I was no, sitting here going, like playing the same note over and over, I'd be like, ugh. But fast songs do seem Well, I don't mean fast, slow, I just mean like, I'm playing one, a bunch of notes in a chord. Let me think about that. Let's see if I can make time slow down. Oh, speed up. Does it seem like time's going faster now? Or now? No, if you play it. Or now. Yeah, but that's Slower, because it's annoying, right? Yeah. Now you can, like, relax, because you don't have to focus on any two notes. Yeah. You have a time a machine. Really dissipated song, like one where you play one note every couple of seconds, but there's a lot of reverb or something. Yeah. high-pitched note, and then a couple seconds later play another high-pitched note, that's going to go faster than if you play two low-pitched notes in the same. Yeah, definitely. Because that sets your tempo higher, you know, your mental tempo. What? Totally. I don't have a mental tempo. Yeah, you do. It's like... You wouldn't be able to be a musician if you didn't. Mm -hmm.